Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT Geek YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another episode within my Azure Stack series. Um, so this is a new series I've started, I'm about, this is going to be the fourth episode, well, introduction and then three episodes. Um, and currently we're talking about um, an introduction into Azure Stack um, HCI. So yeah, we're kind of introducing the topic at the moment. Um, and it's a similar format to how I've done it before. So I'm going through some theory, some short presentation that I'm doing a lab. And in the lab, I'm actually going through the, the process of deploying uh, a sandboxed Azure Stack HCI environment within my demo tenant. Um, so last episode, we kind of finished off the, the initial deployment. This episode, we're going to look at what resources, additional resources have been deployed and looking to sort of configure that with Azure. So without further ado, let's get started with this episode. Um, so, as I said, this is part three in the final part of the introduction or the intro to Azure Stack HCI. Um, so just to cover what we're going to talk about in this episode, a bit of a breakdown. So um, this is the final part, as I said, in this little subtopic. We are going to be talking about comparing Azure Stack Hub, HCI and Edge and seeing what the differences are. Um, so and then we'll do obviously a demo. So when we talk about Azure Stack Hub, as you've probably seen in, in the previous episodes, and kind of we have kind of touched on a few of these points, but it's a run, run it's a, essentially run your own private um, sort of autonomous cloud native applications in the cloud, connected or disconnected on uh, to an on-premises environment. So it's essentially the same sort of autonomous cloud native applications you get in the cloud, but you actually host it on your own infrastructure on-premises. Well, you get infrastructure from Microsoft, but it's all on-premises, and it can be also disconnected from the cloud. So just like HCI, which is my main point of interest within this whole series and my demos, uh, this is to consolidate and modernize essentially virtualized workloads by using on-premises hyper-converged infrastructure and integrate that that uh, then with Azure as well. So this is integration with Azure, can't be sort of disconnected, and it's sort of modernizing your virtualized workloads into like a hyper-converged infrastructure. And finally, when we talk about Azure Stack Edge. Um, this is to get immediate insights into your on-premises data with an Azure managed edge computing appliance by using sort of hardware accelerated machine learning. Um, so again, very different, very different use cases as well. But if we actually look a bit further into that, some specific characteristics and the table, we've got a couple of tables, a couple of slides with some, some points in I want to go through. So from a number of nodes perspective, look at that. Azure Stack Hub is four to 16. Azure Stack HCI is one to 16, so a bit more there. But Azure Stack Edge is just one node. Uh, from a hardware perspective, the, the main difference is that Azure Stack Hub and HCI are OEM, whereas Azure Stack Edge is, is Microsoft owned. Um, and then we talk about, you know, the, the disconnect, the disconnect scenarios. We mentioned it in the, in the slide below before. Only Azure Stack Hub supports that. We talk about providing Azure consistent IAS and PaaS. Again, only Azure Stack Hub supports that and is, uh, gives you that. For branch office scenarios, this is more sort of the Azure Stack HCI. And we talk about trusted enterprise virtualization. Again, this kind of points towards Azure Stack HCI rather than Hub or Edge. For built-in DI, you're looking at Azure Stack Hub. And we want some more sort of characteristics. We'll talk about HA for virtual machines. The only one that doesn't really fit the case or fit that use case is Azure Stack Edge, whereas HCI and Hub do. Pre-configured private cloud, it's looking at maybe Azure Stack Hub really, and the other two don't really feature there. Multi-tenancy. And tenant isolation is only Azure Stack Hub. Azure VM supported through IaaS, again, is Azure Stack Hub. Support for Kubernetes, all three support that, which is quite good. We talk about local ARM control plane um, and the support of that, only Azure Stack Hub supports that. And finally, when we talk about Azure Managed Appliance, both Azure Stack Hub and HCI are managed by you as a consumer or the client, and Azure Stack Edge is actually managed by Microsoft. Um, so we are ready for the demo and in this demo again just kind of look at some of the, the whole the two hosts that were deployed but also looking to connect um, the holes your stack HCI with my Azure uh, tenancy so let's jump into the demo tenant welcome back here we are in the demo poll and first thing for those people with a keen eye you'll notice I'm actually wearing different clothes to what I was in the actual presentation <laughs> that's because some of these labs are actually recorded um, afterwards um, just because it's actually quite a long process to record some of these demos and uh, believe it or not, I've actually screwed up the configuration quite a few times. I've had to start again from scratch, so um, I have recorded the demo separately. But first things first, the last demo we did, we went through the um, deployment uh, through Azure CLI and we logged on to the HCI box and we saw that all that configuration, the automatic sort of um, script started. So that took about four hours, four to five hours to do. 
um, which is quite a long time, uh, probably even longer than that, but it's finished. So now we actually need to go into our resource group and actually just go check a couple of things. So we've got IT Geek HCI Box RG. So these are all the, remember we checked all the services already that got, and we actually need to go into the, these two hosts here. Um, so we need to go into the host and double check the extensions. So there are a couple of extensions um, that are kind of need to be in there. Uh, so one of them is the Azure Edge Lifecycle Manager and Azure Edge Telemetry and Diagnostics. So make sure um, both of those are showing uh, on, on both the hosts. So there, go to extensions again. Um, so yep, they're there, which is great. Um, and now once we've done that, we can actually um, do the next stage, which is the, the validation, um, uh, validation and deployment, so finishing off the cluster deployment. So basically the validation is where you do an ARM template and you deploy with the validate flag. Um, and then that begins the final sort of cluster validation step, which takes around 20 minutes. But then we have the deployment and that's what takes a long time. That could take two to three hours. So again, we're going to go through the stages. Uh, we actually need to be connected to that HCI box. Let's get connected to that quickly. Um, so we need to go into, there's a folder here uh, called HCI box. You need to right click on this and open with code. And there are two files here that, um, okay. there are two files here that, uh, oh, is it open? Oh, no, it's opened the wrong one. I need to click on that. And then, so that's opened up my C driving code. Okay, so there's HCI JSON, HCI parameter .json. So we actually need to, in the Azure portal, we need to do a custom, uh, deploy a custom template. And here we need to build our own template in the editor. So we need to delete this first. And what we actually want to do is, the first bit is the, um, I think it's the JSON file first. So we want to get all the contents of the HCI JSON, which is here. Uh, and we need to just make sure it's got that validate flag there. Just to make sure, um, check through it and make sure it's, it's correct. So I've already checked it a few times. I've, I've been through this a couple of times. Uh, so I'm going to uh, select all that. Copy. And then we go across to our template. Paste all that, so there's about 613 files, uh, so line, which is quite a bit. Save that, and then we want to edit template. Then let's go to edit template, let's go back here, we want to go to the HCI JSON, so I just go here, um, select all. Save that. Okay. Uh, okay. So not edit template. Edit parameters. Want we'll edit parameters? That's it. And then delete that. Go to our client here. So this is our parameters. Um, copy all that. That should be around hundred and fifty. Yep. That's fine. Save that. And then once we've done that, just make sure everything else is populated. Go to next. And then click on create. So this is a part that's going to take about 20 minutes. So we're not going to sit and watch this. Uh, we're not going to sit and watch any of it. What we'll do is in the, uh, in, in the next episode, we're going to do the demo. We'll go through, I'll go through everything that was deployed. Um, just to show you before I carry on with the next steps. Um, so that is the end of the demo. Um, hopefully you've, you've gained something from that. Again, I'm just going through the steps. If you've got, you know, if you've downloaded this, if you're going through this yourself, let me know in the, in the comments. Let me know if you're going through this configuration yourself. Uh, it's expensive. Just be careful when you're managing your, your, your resources and your cost. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Bye.